Okay, YouTube, I'm back. I had added this blue and white wire, which I connected uh, from the my adapter here, the two side terminals, and that connects down to a battery pack. And I've just run this pack uh, empty. Here you can see the let's see if you can see the fuel gauge, maybe the side. But it's lighting up red, it just shut off, so I'm going to see if this actually works now. And we've got 17.42 uh, volts, if you can read that. There we go. So that's a discharged battery. Now the idea is, plug this in. And we're now getting blinking red, so it's evaluating. And it's still 17.42 volts. So something. I don't know if I have a loose connection here. I'm trying to. Yeah, because that. Uh, well, now I'm getting a little bit of current. 0.1213. So 110, 120 milliamps. It still hasn't gone to charging yet. That's interesting. That goes up to 0.1918. Hmm. So it's puzzling. I'll try swapping. I might have the... I don't know if these leads have to be on a particular direction. Ah! Okay, they're apparently polarized. So that's interesting to note. And now we're getting three amps of charging. Holy cow. That is pretty impressive. 55 watts. Okay. Now that's interesting. So these are, there is some sort of communications or handshaking or something going on there. Now i got to try to figure out where to put this thing while it charges. <laughs> that's the next step. Not make my wires long enough. Okay, there we got the battery kind of held in place up there. I might have to build a little charging shelf, but we're getting uh, 3.06 amps, 18 volts, 55 watts, which is kind of interesting because that. Uh, you know, I was observing the power, the charger takes 65 or 70 watts of uh, power. It's kind of cloudy today, so I'm not getting a lot of uh, solar coming in. 12 and a half volts and minus 6.5. So I'm pulling current out of the batteries today. I think I need to go turn off some lights. So, but yeah, that looks like. So it looks like those connections are number one needed and number two they are uh, somehow polarized. So I am going to let this run right here and I'll see how many amp hours it is when it finishes. Okay, hello YouTube. It's been about uh, I think it's 45 minutes, actually up over 21 volts, which is interesting, 21.16, and they're still charging at, oh, and it just cut off. They were at, looks like they're cycling between running, charging, and not charging. Now there it goes zero, back to two and a half. The green light is still flashing, 2.116 amp hours and 40.8 watt hours. Yeah, so I'll let this run through the end of the cycle. I put the, change the camcorder over to uh, power, external power, so I don't know how long this will run, but we'll see. Uh, try to do a time lapse of this end of charge cycle and see what happens.
Okay, looks like she finished there. I got the green light. It says it's charged, no red light. Uh, what did we get for drop to zero? 20.5 volts and 2.23 amp hours and 43 watt hours. So that's the 43 is pretty close to the 48 that they advertise as the capacity. Proof of concept anyway that it's possible to charge these uh, separated from the charger. Of course it's all, I just have direct connected wires but I think if I can now, I need to now figure out what those bl blue and white wire, what those things do and uh, We'll see how that goes.